Oh my god, I'm so sick of this. What, what's going on? These, uh, DJ F right. is out here uh, doing tutorials on how to make eight well, laser like sets. No, I, I, let me go in here. Hold on, hold on. Oh my calm god. Down. And leave me alone. Calm down, calm leave down, me alone. Oh my god. And oh, hold on, oh. I gotta turn it out. And he keeps on. Like tripping on a little just bit. making these damn tutorials and We're stuff. On our way. Um, where are you? So, uh -huh. his beats are uh -huh. dope, but I, I told him not to cut the track like on because his beats are too far. <laughs> Trap Tendo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make 808 so crazy that they call the popo on you. With this plugin by Waves called Chef73, which is a collaboratory plugin between Waves and Andrew Chefs, which is the emulation of the Neve 1073 in all of its distortion glory. And the main thing that makes this VST plugin shine is the distortion circuit algorithm that's in it. And you will be able to take advantage of that either on snares, kicks, drums, bass, 808s, whatever you want. So let's go. And you already know, the link will be in the description box and it will be a special link which will give you an extra 10% off and will support this channel so I can make more content. And yes, I know guys, FL Studio is in front of us. Calm down, Woosa. 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 So let's hear this 808 that I have that has no effect on it now. As you can see, Nice, dry, spins 808. So, <laughs> the famous one. Let's hear the effect. Damn. So as you can see, you can get some pretty interesting distortion. And that was just a little taste of what you can do. So the first things first, I want to explain this distortion that comes from this. So you have to initiate it by pressing drive. So I'm going to go ahead and play it again. And you can hear that distortion just kick in right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with this parameter. As you can see, it gets real rude, so I'm gonna roll down the output. Turn up the volume a little bit. And let's see how nasty it really can get. So as you can see, it gets really crazy. So there's other things that you can do with this. And I really want you to play with this VST if you get it, because man, you, if you really want to stand out in a crowd of people that are doing this, basically the same type of trap or even in different genres, this EQ will have you on another level. Now, here's another thing right here uh, that I want to point out. Uh, you have different modes. So you have dual mode and then you have mid to side. So mid to side is one of the things that Andrew Sheps loves. And I, I really love his discussion about mid to side uh, anything. But definitely dual mode is where all the interesting stuff happens. So I'm going to go ahead and play the 808 again. I'm going to turn it down real quick so you can hear me. Uh, one of the things you might want to do in this mode is this middle area right here. Use that to turn up and down this area because while you're in dual, dual mode, you have control of your left and your right. So using this middle section, this middle parameter, will keep everything linked. As you'll see, the link goes in and out. Now, theoretically, I wouldn't have an 808 be that crazy and that distorted because once I push it up again, you'll, you'll hear that it's a way too much uh, distortion. But what I would do in this particular scenario is I will switch it to like stereo mode again and I will roll off highs and mids. Let's hear it now.
it's still a bit crazy, but you know, just messing around in dual mode, you know, just get get a tone that you can really deal with. As you can see, <laughs> you get some really interesting bass. So, uh, another thing I want to point out is going. Make sure that you go back into stereo mode. Of course, I was uh, tripping a little bit. Now, there in this particular EQ, that what makes it special is this particular area right here, as you have control over two parameters. Now, if I was to mess with this parameter right here, as you see it highlighted, you can hear how it affects the 808 again, as I roll off or filter out certain frequencies. So again, you have a high pass filter as well where you can mess with a few things and you can check out a couple of other things about like just filtering out certain frequencies. See if you can get a clean 808. It's really up to you of what you want to do with your your mix altogether. Kind of balance out the output and the input and to play with it. Let's mess with it some more and drop in that full track. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it. And for those who made it this far, I have a surprise for one of you guys. So the first person that can tell me who this is on my shirt, and you know, I'm gonna give you a hint. I love jazz. He is a jazz artist, a jazz musician. I will get you something cool. All right, DJ Av, appreciate y'all for your time. Trap Tendo. Trap Tendo.